Now, the average Jujutsu Kaisen fan is usually hard while watching these fights, but I'm a casual watcher. This shit is hard to watch. First, Gojo, now Sukuna. The author of Jujutsu Kaisen needs to fix matchmaking in this anime immediately. There's no reason why a platinum player should be going up against a top 500 player. Oh no, Halloween was just a couple weeks ago, but why is bro creeping me out? This just might be Michael Myers by the way he's disappearing and reappearing on screen. Look, I guess Sukuna is stronger than Toji, but I think you need to focus on the guy who turned Dagon into a Krabby Patty last episode. He's so fast, I need to get away from here. It's almost like when we started this arc, a lot of you guys turned into side characters. Whatever happened to weak characters having that dog in them? Does Maggie and me have a theme song? Because the only song that comes to mind whenever I see him is, He's a runner. He's a track star. He's gonna run away when it gets hard. If I had full energy, this would be better. Look, Maggie me, you can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You're boxing in Chelsea boots. You didn't want to win for real. This is like Goku and Vegeta going against Wes. He's only you in one arm and to make matters worse he's not even looking at you bro just might be in sage mode bugs bunny sees that megami's struggling so he pulls up from the sideline to throw hands megami tries to go for the slow ass sweeping kick and toji doesn't even bother to dodge it this man was just using one arm standing still had his eyes closed too you're trash <laughs> I just can't contain this glazing, it's gotta come out! This is one of the hardest scenes I've ever seen in anime. My mouth dropped in awe. I was at a loss for words seeing this. You can go in the comments all you wanna say, and why are you glazing him? If Toji is a baker, I'm a Krispy Kreme right now. Pause. That, that, that was an analogy. Anyway, so we see this guy who's trying to avoid work at all costs. I think he would get along just fine with Mordecai and Ricky. But to be honest, I can't even blame him. Unless you're Toji level in this anime, you're getting cooked. So Megami starts doing the old Joseph Joestar secret technique, running the hell away. Toji doesn't even bother chasing him. He's just throwing trash at him. He's got Megami up here doing parkour. Look, bro, if every time I see you hop in a fight, you're trying to self-delete yourself, trying to summon a dick-faced monster to kill an average level enemy, come here. I think instead of hopping in the field as a Jujutsu sorcerer, we need to hop on LinkedIn to fill out some job applications. I know you saw Dagon take him 100 feet deep in the ocean. Something should be clicking in your head that this isn't going to work. Think, Mark, think! But you know what? People usually give you a lot of crap for summoning Sukuna's daddy, but this was actually a decent plan. Toji's deadbeat dad senses start tingling, and we get a flashback of him selling his son. I guess it's supposed to show that he cared for him a little bit. I don't know. So Toji self-deletes himself, which honestly was the only way this fight could have played out. Because Jujutsu Kaisen is known for people getting jumped and very one-sided fights. So they finally start giving us what we want. They leave peak for the second half of the episode, but I'm not complaining. Now, Jogo, looking back on that offer, I feel like you're kind of a dumbass for accepting it for two reasons. One, Ghetto literally told you that you're equal to eight to nine fingers at most. But last episode, you fed him 10 and he already had five. You're cooked. Two, if somebody ever tells me if you get one hit on me, you win, maybe we should use our thinking caps on that one. Jogo, did he just turn your arms at the pepperoni slice? So Jogo starts letting off shots and they look really pretty. But the last time we saw shots like this was Toji versus Ghetto. And history tends to repeat itself. Who said you could be this cool? This man Sukuna's walking like he's on the runway for Vogue. Matter of fact, the 2016 Easy collection with all these damn holes in his clothes. Jogo, I think he just turned your fingers into pigs in a blanket. Why is he little bro in him like this? He picked him up by his collar and chucked him down. And he's hitting everything possible known to man on the way down. Hey, breathe, bro. Breathe. So just like a Naruto Storm player getting their asses beat, he resorts to going Awakening. All of this looks cool and all, but he's still on full HP. I think he's going to two-stock perfect you still. Okay, now that was flashy. Oh, jeez, where did he go? Now, the average Jujutsu Kaisen fan is usually hard while watching these fights, but I'm a casual watcher. This shit is hard to watch. <laughs> My 
My man's kid, Chewity Boy. Come on, bro. You ain't got to kick him while he's down. You knew he was booty butt cheeks before you readied up on a rank match. This man is so gracefully evil, bro, is finger skating on the street and burning holes into Itadori's shoes at the same time. So the side characters are getting jumped, so they feel like it's time for them to skedaddle. Narang. <laughs> This man is sick in the head. What kind of evil ass game of chicken is this? The only time I'm playing chicken is if I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Hey, you leave Jogo alone. How about I drop you in Bleach and every time you fight somebody, it's either Aizen or Yuha. You wouldn't like that now, would you? I'ma be honest, no hate to the animators, but there was a guy on TikTok who animated this already, and I hate to say it, but bro's version looks way better than this. So they charge up for one final attack. And why does Jogo look like one of those honey buns given to a homeless guy me? No. 